Hey Man Caveians, this is Bob from the Bob's End Scale Man Cave, and today we're doing a review of this brand new Atlas 53 foot well car, single well car. Something I've been looking for for a long time, and finally someone put it out. Uh, I have a bunch of 53 foot containers, and all I had to use were 48 footers, and I just I wanted a single one. Just I don't want a, a bunch of you know, three packs or five packs of different kind of uh, well car sets. I just wanted a single one. You know, a little bit cheaper and it fits everything. So let's take a look at what does fit and what doesn't. Okay, we're gonna take this thing out. It looks like it's uh, pretty well packaged. Um, let's see. Just pull off the sides. Take all that cover off. Take this piece off. It was already loose. That comes wrapped in this plastic here. Can set that off to the side. It's got a little uh, spacer in here. Uh, kind of hold it in place and actually fits inside these holes pretty well. So hey, you know what? I'm going to use that as a little mounting stand. How about that? Okay, what I also have here is I've got a Concore 48 foot container. I have a Scale Trains 53 foot container and I have a brand new Micro Trains 53 foot container. We're going to take a look and see how these all fit in here. So let's start off with the details. Okay, we have the Atlas 53 foot well car. It's a single well car and it comes in TTX road names, it also Florida East Coast, and St. Mary's Railway West. It has a die cast body, detailed brake lines, and air reservoir, separately applied hand grabs, etched metal walkways, and has a minimum radius of 12 and a half radiuses that it will run on. Let's take a look up close at some of those details. Okay, as you can see, we have those etched metal walkways. They're all see-through. And you have these uh, hand grabs on the end. in focus there we go hand grabs on the end atlas couplers there is a brake oh, air air hose right there I don't think that may be what they're meaning by brake lines um, I do not see a reservoir unless that's what uh, that's what's up there on top uh, it might be what they're talking about I don't see a great big air tank, you know, the typical round cylinder air tanks, but that might be what they're talking about for that. Um, on the inside of the well, you got a bunch of holes in there for uh, making things a little bit lighter. Um, on the ends here, you have these uh, kind of little uh, stops right there to keep the boxes from sliding around. Uh, we'll see how that works. And then on the other end, same thing, but you've got a detailed handbrake wheel right there, and not on the other side, of course. Uh, here's the bottom. It's pretty uh, typical uh, little plug-in pin to hold your wheels in. Uh, not a whole lot of detail on the bottom, obviously, but that's okay. So let's take a look at what fits container-wise inside of this well car. Okay, we have a Deluxe Innovations container, which I mistakenly said was a Concor. We have a Microtrains one down here at the bottom, and we have a Scale Trains one in the middle. 
And those are the only three brands I really have right now. So we'll take a look at how each one fits. So let's start with this 48 foot uh, container box and we're just basically going to test the width of the container box fitting inside the, the well. Because in the review I did for the Microtrain's 48 foot uh, well car, it would not fit in side to side. It was just too wide until I had to take out that bottom piece. So in this, this one it fits just fine. Uh, the scale trains one. Let's put that in. It looks like it sits down all the way, nice and even. Mm, fits in on the ends. It's all the way down on the bottom. Yep, looks good. And it slides out. Fairly, fairly easily. It's a little snug, but it may wear in. Uh, the micro trains, one here. Let's try and fit that in there. Okay, this is a little snug. Don't want to push it too much. As you can see, it's all the way down on that end. On this end, it's not quite all the way down. It's like just hitting the edge of that um, that barrier there. And you can see that on the bottom, this end is all the way down, and that end is not all the way down. Hmm. Maybe it was the actual container that's a little problem. So let's start. Try this other brand new uh, microtrains container. Hmm. Well, that one sits in there a little long as well. So let's uh, fit it in. Oh, there we go. A little snug, but it does fit in there depending on the box that you get. Uh, it's down on this end and it's all the way down on that end. But, let's see, how does it come out? It doesn't come out. Got to squeeze it out, hold it, got to hold it down and pop it out. So it is pretty snug, but it will fit. The ones that don't fit, you can stack them on top of ones that do fit. You can put them on top of 48 footers, on other rolling stock, if you want, and uh, you know, all in all, it uh, looks like it will fit a lot of them. Uh, I also heard that it will fit uh, Kato 53-footers, Atlas 53-footers, um, a bunch of them. But uh, I think the, I think I read somewhere else that a couple of them didn't fit, and I think Microtrains was one of them that didn't always fit. Okay, let's take a look at the coupling between uh, the Atlas and the Microtrains. pretty easy to couple. Um, they're very compatible and as you can see the coupler height matches with the microtrains perfectly. So that passes that test. Okay let's uh, check out the coupling between the Atlas over here and Kato over here. Uh, I'm not expecting anything good. No, nope. they don't connect very easily. Operations wise, Kato couplers are, n are not very easy to couple against. Um, pretty stiff, they seem to spread the other direction, you know, and, and miss. So, let's see if I can uh, get these to go in correctly. Okay, I think I got it. You kind of have to spread out both of these couplers before you try to put them together. But, yeah. Not easy.
There we go. And as you can see, the, the coupler height is a little higher on this side, on the Atlas, than the Kato is. But I think that's still going to stay locked in pretty well. Um, Kato does stay locked. You know, they, they are a good coupler for keep staying coupled. It is not great for operations. For those of you who do operations, yeah, Kato is not, not a good choice really. But the Atlas one will be good for everything else, hooking up to market trains and probably some other ones. I just ain't going to hook up to horn hooks, of course. Well, let's take a look at the, the final review and give you my opinion of this and a run by. Well, Man Cavens, that's been my review of the 53 foot well car from Atlas. Brand new product from them. Uh, I hope it had been out before. I hadn't really seen single well cars before. Uh, I heard Walther's had sold their line of N-Scale uh, a while back, and maybe Atlas has picked that up. I think they did. But uh, we haven't seen these in a long time, and I'm really glad that they came out with this. Although I have to give this probably an 8 because, well, a couple manufacturers of containers don't fit inside these, and it really is a bummer. Also, Kato couplers don't really hook up with this very well. Uh, they hook up better with Microtrain's couplers, but not these Atlas ones. And so it, it was really tough to get those uh, connected up. Uh, it's going to work great on my layout. Uh, I've got a lot of containers that need to be hauled around from time to time and having these 53 footers really helps. Also you can get these in three road names. Obviously TTX and the Florida East Coast and the St. Mary's Railway West. And uh, I bought these myself to review just for you guys to see what they were all about and maybe if you want one go find one. I don't care if you get one or not, but you know, I'm doing this review to give you my opinion and that's it. So, they didn't give me this. I didn't get any of these for free at all. I paid for every one of them and you know, Atlas is just a company out there making trains and I'm just giving you what's new out there on the market. So if you like it, you know, give me a thumbs up, you know, leave a comment down below, and uh, hopefully uh, you like them too. So, happy model railroading, guys, and stay off those tracks. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Check out these videos over here. Also click on the links down below to follow me on social media. And leave a comment. Tell me what you liked. And as always, Mancavians, happy model railroading and stay off those tracks. Bye.